Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be a weekly general reading for the sign of Libra for the week of April 11th through the 17th of 2023. And I would also like to give a very special thank you to those of you who have subscribed to my channel as well as given it a thumbs up and left comments. Thank you very much for doing that. first card out is the King of Swords. So there you are. You know, you're flooded with new ideas. You're motivated. You know, you're attacking problems and projects head on. You're finding solutions. And you're getting credit for the good work that you're doing, which is always nice to be recognized. You know, for all the efforts that you do. And the Four of Pentacles. So you're watching your pennies this week, trying not to overspend. You know, you've got a lot of wonderful ideas of what you want to do, but you're also realizing that, you know, it may require a little bit of fundage and you're a little bit afraid of that. You want to leave things in the future for your, for yourself and not have to feel like in the future, you know, that you might be in lack of. So you're sort of penny pinching, which is not a bad quality, but maybe you're pinching pennies in the wrong places. And the Five of Swords. So there you are, standing your ground, making your voice heard. Maybe you've been, you know, people's been picking at you or that sort of thing. Maybe a lot of bullying going on where you work. And you're realizing that it's starting to uh, take a profound effect on your health. So you're, you know, going to just nip that in the bud this week. And you're going to tell people that... You know, this is unacceptable behavior. And uh, if they're bullying you and pushing you around or expecting more, you're just going to, you know, stand your ground, do what you got to do and, and tell them that, no, nope, you don't, you don't get to do this. You're determined this week to make things go the way you visualize them. And the seven of rods, so most definitely, you know, Standing up for yourself, standing up for your beliefs. You know, you've always bent and that sort of thing because that's who you are. You always like to keep peace going forward. You like to make everybody happy, that sort of thing. But you're realizing that at what cost to yourself. So this is the week that you're feeling more boisterous. You know, you're not just going to try to please everybody else. This is the week that you're trying to please yourself a little bit more. And the four of rods, so very nice. Good sound foundations, good friends, good home, that sort of thing. You're starting to enjoy yourself a little bit more. You're finding more accomplishments in your life. You're rewarding yourself as you go. You know, you're accomplishing in celebrating yourself because you're realizing that you know, you have a solid foundation, you're feeling optimistic, and you can see things that are starting to come to light that are making you feel good. I think you've been not feeling so happy about yourself for a while, and this has given you that accomplishment feeling that, there you go, see, I can say what I speak and, and make it happen. And the chariot, so there you go, you're healing yourself. You know, you're forging ahead. You're not letting anybody take you off your vision going forward. You're going to reach for that brass ring for all it's worth, and you're going to have victory at doing it. You know, you know what you got to do. You know, if it's a situation that you're in that's uh, in a job where it's not gotten you anywhere, you're going to forge ahead to help yourself to get out of that situation. You know, you, you have a vision for yourself and you're you're heading for it. You're going to be the master of your own domain. And the Queen of Pentacles. So there you are. Very nice. Making your accounts grow, bank accounts. You're learning to find really good deals. You know, instead of paying, you know, if you're out shopping or trying to get something, you're going to find the best there is out there for less you know 
if you're trying to purchase something. Ooh, and the Nine of Cups. So, wish fulfillment. Now, this could be a wish fulfillment in a job. Maybe you put in, you know, put something out there for a long time and, you know, you're finally hearing back for them, that sort of thing. You're starting to feel a lot more optimistic. You know, you're starting to realize that your wishes are starting to come true. You know, you've struck it rich in good friends, good company, good relationships. So that's that's wonderful to get that. And there's money in the works as well. It's not just, you know, your your creative ideas are going to make you feel better in the future. And the Emperor. So setting yourself free. Getting out from... You know, somebody else's idealistics. You know, you're committing to a plan this week and you're going to see it finished. Like you're not stopping until you've accomplished what you wanted. So you're willing to put the hard work in and keep moving forward, you know, which is beautiful. You're sticking to your guns, you know. And the page of wands. So invitation, you know, maybe you're hearing from somebody you haven't heard from, from for a while. This could be a long distance call to um, travel for work for some of you. This could be also a recent call for, you know, just somebody getting in touch with you, giving you some sort of great ideas. Could be from a different um, time zone as well. And maybe you're thinking of, you know, going to visit them, that sort of thing. But you're happy. It, I mean, it's going to pan out the way you wanted it to, which is optimistic and, and beautiful, you know. Maybe you've had to push the envelope a little bit to make this happen, but it's going to happen on a good note. And the tower card, yeah, that's all right. That helps you have insight. Maybe something's happened, you know, at your job or something recently and it's given you that, oh yeah, so this is what's going to happen or this is what's coming. And, and you're realizing that that little bit of insight and, and intuition is right on the money, you know, and this could be in friendships as well, but it'll make a difference in your finances and that as well. So you're stepping out of it ahead of time, you know, you're this is your wake-up call but you know that so you're taking steps moving yourself forward ahead of everyone else so you're cleaning house you know you're getting what you need to get done and accomplished in the in the time frame that you know you have before this all comes about and the knight of cups yeah some sort of trip for yourself this is usually a trip by by boat of some sort it doesn't necessarily always have to be but you know uh, it's just going to be an unexpected but happy one maybe you run into somebody you haven't seen for a long time this could be somebody offering you a cup of love you know and that could be in friendship too it doesn't not have to be love is in marriage and that sort of thing they could just really respect you and that and you know, bring you a cup of coffee, that sort of thing. It doesn't have to be anything other than that. Ooh, nice. And the Ace of Pentacles. Well, there you are. Luck for all it's worth. You know, tangible goods, material gains. You're feeling more empowered. Um, th this is an exercise for yourself, maybe trying to get back into better shape. You know, it's going to really pay off mentally as well as physically for yourself so you're doing all right here you're quite happy content you're having wish fulfillments you can see what's coming at you you're taking the proper steps in order to make sure that when it does happen it's not going to be that big a deal if there's people that have no faith in you you're just cutting them out you know you're keeping to yourself you're not letting people judge you in any dimension all right, so I'm going to pick and shuffle you an Angel Oracle card. But your cards are very, very nice this week, for sure. You know, you're on good, solid foundations, and you know it. You know, people are starting to back you, and they appreciate you. 
All right. <laughs> Caution is warranted. Look deeper into this situation before proceeding further. So look before you do anything hasty. Always. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. And I will talk to you again next week. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.